So who are you here to see, Emily? Your best friend or your lover? Not neither. I, I well, mean, actually, you know, you haven't been much of a best friend lately, have you? Margo, I am so Sh sorry. Shut but... up. You slept with my husband, Emily. There are no excuses for that. What you did to me was inexcusable. I know. I, I agree, but I can still feel bad about it, can't I? I mean, not just for what happened, but for how you had to find out. I mean, listening to me and Molly in the control booth like that. Oh, and you feel real bad about that, do you? Oh my God, yes, of course I Well, do. then why did you go out of your way to set it up? What are you talking about? You have about? done everything humanly possible to seduce my husband, haven't you? And then you made damn sure that I found out all about it, sending me flowers, staging that mock argument with Molly in the control booth. I'm on to you, Emily. No more lies. Margo, what flowers are you talking about? I don't have the faintest idea. You are such a piece of work. Eddie overheard you on the phone pretending to be Tom's secretary, making sure I got the flowers. So don't deny it. Oh, Eddie? I don't know what he thinks he heard. Stop, or what he... stop pretending. Stop lying and stop pretending. Stop, Emily. I know exactly what you are now. Oh I thought you were leaving. I'm sorry, Tom, but I, I had to talk to Margo. I, I had to make her understand how sorry I am. And I had to make you know that it wasn't, it wasn't Tom's fault. He, I mean, he, he didn't do anything. He, he just needed to be Emily, with somebody. I'm just Emily, trying to explain. I don't want you to explain anything. I don't want you here. Accept that and go. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You were here before? So you two had a conversation about me? You two had a conversation about how you were going to handle me? No, it wasn't like that. We weren't. Emily stopped by earlier and said that she wanted to talk to you, and I told her that I didn't want her to do that, that this was between us now, just us. He's telling the truth, Margo. Oh. You can't believe what a comfort it is to hear you say that, Emily. Okay, I, I deserve that. Emily, I accept that. I'm just... my kids are asleep upstairs, and I don't want them hearing this drama played out in their backyard. All right. I'm so sorry. No. I am. I waited up all night, uh, willing and praying that door to open an hour after hour when it didn't. I was... I was so afraid. I know. I know, I felt exactly the same way the night that we argued. And I lost the baby. And you slept with Emily. I am so sorry. Don't. If I could don't, take this back. Don't, don't, you can't. I don't know what possessed me. I knew the minute it was over that it was, that it was wrong. And I felt such remorse. How could you do it? How could you? How could you? I guess it's, like you said, maybe I did it to punish you because I thought that you had done the same thing to me with Eddie, and I know it's not an excuse and it might not make any sense. You know what? It does. It does make sense because I did the same thing. When I found out about you and Emily, I wanted to hurt you, Tom. I wanted to punish you. So I went to Eddie last night. That's where I was all night with Eddie. Don't you even want to know what happened between me and Eddie last night? I have night? no right to ask you that. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Because somehow he was smarter and more adult than all of us put together. And he can actually see beyond his immediate desires, and think, think of the consequences of his actions. I will do anything, anything to make this happen. Damn it! Tell me what you want. What do I want? I want for none of this to have happened, So do Tom. I. Believe I want me. everything to go back the way it was for us because you were my rock. I trusted you.
with everything, with my deepest heart and my deepest soul. And you just, and don't you dare say that the same thing happened between me and Eddie because it never did. I never crossed that line, but you did. Please forgive me, please. <laughs> Look, I know you can't do it right now. I know it's a lot to ask, but just give me somehow, some way to make this up to you, show you how much I love yeah, I you. I gotta tell you, that night that we argued, and you said to me that I had lied so much that you could never believe in me again. And then you go off and you go straight into the arms of Emily Stewart. So how am I supposed to trust you now, Tom? How am I supposed to do that? You won't be able to do it right now. It will take time, but I will work on this and I will not stop working on it until I earn your trust back. Look at you, you make it sound so easy. It's not going to be easy, but think of the alternative. Think of everything we have. Everything we meant to, everything we still mean to each other. Are you telling me that this doesn't matter to you at all? Marco, I love you. You are the only woman that I have ever loved and the only woman that I want to spend the rest of my life with. We have been through tough times before. We will get through this, but please tell me. Tell me you'll give me a chance. You will work through this with me, please. I know how hurt you are. Do you? Don't do it for me, but for us. Think about the boys. Think about what would happen to them if we couldn't make it through this. So don't do it for me. Do it for them. Oh. Mom! Hey! You're just getting home? Where were you? Oh, Casey, Daddy already explained that. I had a bad dream and you weren't here. Oh, baby, I'm so sorry. Did you? Was it the same one? Was it the monsters? Mm -mm. No, what was it? Do you remember? Mm -mm. You were gone. I kept calling for you and calling for you, but you wouldn't come back. So, did you spend the night at Grandpa John's? Yeah, I mentioned to them that uh, you weren't feeling very good on our dates, so you went over to John's and have them check you out. Feeling any better? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm just a little low, so I'm going to be back to my old self in a couple of days. Great. So then you guys can uh, redo that rooftop dating, huh? But you better not forget my photo album. I bet looking at some of, some of these old memories will... Be just what the doctor ordered. All right, let's go, Case. Oh, I'm uh, Mom. Huh. See what I tell you? You're feeling better already, aren't you? Let's go. Thank you for the way you handled that. Well, they've been through enough already. Yes, they have. And they deserve better from both of us. Does that mean that you will consider giving us another chance? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. maybe. Just say maybe. Maybe. Thank you. Don't. Don't. <laughs>